Hey guys, this is Brianna from MB Studios and this is Michael. Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be playing the Would You Rather Challenge and in this challenge we have to ask each other questions and we each have to pick an answer. You can't just be neutral and then we have to say why. Also, after that we're going to look at the majority votes. Ooh, if you want. Okay, go. So, for this challenge we're going to be using the either website. So, babe, it's question one. Would you rather have paparazzi follow you around or reveal a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column? Um, I guess paparazzi because I don't know. I don't know what kind of secrets they would put in the newspaper. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, 60% agree with you. So you had the majority vote on this one. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather wear the same thing every day or never wear the same clothes twice. <laughs> uh, well, I kind of have like a OCD-ish thing. Like I want to wear a different outfit every other day. So I would actually say not to wear the same thing twice. What the heck? That's my decision. The question was easy. It's not, oh, come on. It is, it is a question. It is an honest question. I mean, you wear your clothes every day. So you, you decide like what to wear. Like when can I wear this and that and what's dirty, what's clean or not. I just rather wear something different every day, so I don't have to worry about it. So, how? What was the majority? Which one did you pick again? I never wear the same clothes twice. Oh, yeah, seventy-three percent agree with you. Awesome, that's great. So, babe, question number two: Would you rather only write in cursive or only type in caps? Type in caps. Why? I don't know, cursive is hard to write, and then if you write in cursive, like mine, people can't really read it, so I'd rather just be yelling all the time, <laughs> in all caps. Well, fortunately, 67% say that writing in cursive would be more than only typing in caps. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> okay, would you rather live in a giant peach or live in a giant shoe? <laughs> well, honestly, I would rather live in a shoe because if you're in a peach, which is a fruit, uh, <laughs> um, you're very cramped in there. I mean, a shoe, yeah, it's still crampy, but I mean, you have like the sole and then you have like the giant uh, outward area of the shoe to reach in and you can even interact with the laces. A peach, you're like just stuck in there. Like it's like sticky and it's like you have no room to move around. So if I had a choice, I would rather live in a shoe. My shoe's smelly. Yeah, well, not if you take care of it. You're living in a shoe, but you can clean it or something. That's so, true. and a peach, you can't. You have to like live with the peach smell and it gets pretty tiring after a while. So, mm -hmm. now you're with me. Haha, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Only 33%. Agree with you. Wow. And sixty-seven percent agree with the giant peach. Really, guys? Really? Okay. Well, that's that's really, it's real peach. It's really peachy right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, babe, question number three: Would you rather always take cold showers or never feel anything cold? Think really hard about this. <laughs> cool. Just think cool, okay? Chill out, babe. I'm trying to think. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I see aren't you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hmm. Um. I don't know. That's hard. Why you get all the easy questions? It's not easy. The shoe and the peach was like. Oh. Okay, I'll give you that. Oh wait. Um. I think I would go with always taking cold showers. Why? Really? Why? Because. You know, it gets hot here in El Paso, <laughs> and if I can't feel the air conditioner, then I would probably die. <laughs> so I rather just take cold showers. Yeah, but always, time. even in the winter. That yeah. Would, that would kind of suck. <laughs> well, fortunately, babe, only thirty-nine percent agree with you. Well, they're yeah, stupid. <laughs> they don't live here. Jesus. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> well, I mean, babe, well, I don't know if the subscribers are from El Paso. Oh. Just cool. <laughs> Be cool. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Would you rather control the elements or control time? That's easy. Time. Wow. 
why? Because the elements, those are... Nah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, controlling elements would be pretty awesome, I mean, for me, because I, I don't like winter or fall. Well, I don't, unless it's, like, really cold. But time, that's, like, infinite. I mean, you can go by, like, an hour or a minute or, like, decades, even centuries. I mean... You can go back to talk to George Washington, or you can just go back an hour before this video even started. I mean, controlling time would be, like, controlling, like, the rest of, like, your life. You know, I can interact with a bunch of people, so I would rather control time. So, majority? 65% agree with you. Awesome. Mm. you. See? You, you people know how to get your times right. We have question number four. Would you rather be on jury duty or go to work? Uh, go to work. Why? I don't know, because I've never been to jury duty, so I, I don't know what your duty is. But <laughs> <laughs> but it, it kind of sounds boring. Hmm. So I'd rather just go to work and just have a boring day there. Well, 77% so agree with you. Going to work would be a lot better than going to jury duty. Even I don't even know what jury duty is, but ah, it must be pretty bad. How do you not know what jury duty is? What do you mean, how would I not know? You're a criminal justice major. Mm -hmm. Well, two things. One, I'm a criminology major. And two, I don't even, they haven't even discussed jury duty. We didn't even discuss it in criminal courts. Like, we never, we only talked about what a jury is, not what jury duty is. It's just something you should know. Okay, you really want to know the truth? Jury duty is when you get summoned to be a jury in public court. Huh? Jury duty is when you're assigned to go to public court. Oh, I see. You did know. I just wanted to tease you. Oh, I... Okay. <laughs> Would you rather kill a unicorn in front of a thousand children <laughs> or <laughs> kill a beloved dolphin <laughs> in front of a thousand children? Jesus, what the... What? Are you serious? It's not your question. <laughs> <laughs> well... That's tough. I mean, unicorns are magical. So are dolphins. Yeah, but, I mean, dolphins are, like, adorable. So it's, like, between being adorable or being magical. Because, it's... Are you going to kill Twilight Sparkle? <laughs> or the Applejack. Fish tail? Stop it. <laughs> I never even seen that movie. Um, <laughs> honestly, I would rather kill a dolphin. What? <laughs> well, it's because kids always want, always like little girls and little boys. They always want to see something magical, you know? Like, I want to see a unicorn and all that. I mean, yeah, dolphins, look at me wrong. Like, dolphins are like majestic animals, but you could see dolphins like on YouTube and stuff like that. I mean, you don't see a unicorn every day. Mm -hmm, that's you know? True. So, I mean, I love, like, dolphins are awesome. Look at me wrong. Dolphins, um, sharks, and all that. They're awesome, but. You can see dolphins, like, everywhere. Unicorns, there's only conspiracies, you know, like Illuminati or, <laughs> you know, like some weird government um, experiment gone wrong, but no one really knows the truth. So if you were to see a unicorn, like our friend Jazz, it'd be like, mind-blowing. So I'd rather kill a dolphin, honestly. I, I, love, I love kids, I love you. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> only 34% agree with me. What? The what? other 66 would actually kill a unicorn. Why? Why would you... <laughs> I have a good one for you. This is really good. Question number five. Would you rather be immortal or die right now? <laughs> <laughs> you I'd rather die. No, no, no. I'm being serious. Why? Why? I don't want to be here. Stop. What about me? You forgotten about me? What about you? Uh, the fact that I love you and how late it's up and die. Like, no, I, I don't want to be immortal. That sucks. But you want But why would you die right now? You know how much I love you. So, uh, I don't have to be around when Trump gets elected. <laughs> Feel the burn. <laughs> okay. I can't Bernie. believe it. Are you serious? This is the last chance. Yes, I'm being serious. I would die right now. I would drink Whoa. bleach. I will. Stop, Julio will stop. join me. Stop, no, stop Julio. <laughs> okay, if you're fucking watching this, you Damn better not let her drink bleach. <laughs> well, bleach actually, party! No, stop. <laughs> Son of the bleach. Okay, <laughs> so it turns out that 17% would rather die right now. The other 83 would be immortal. 
We're immortals. Being immortal is dumb. I love you. That sucks. Why would you want to live? If we don't want to live in this life right now, why would you want to be immortal? Because I'd be immortal if I meant I got to live this life with you. Right, we're going to edit that part out. No, we're not going <laughs> to edit that part out. <laughs> would you rather have extremely muscular arms or have extremely muscular legs? Huh. Well... If I had really muscular legs, I can run really fast and kick really hard and all that. But if I had arms, I can lift things and I can, you know, hold you close to me, like move even more. Um, it's a tough one. Muscular arms. What? Yeah, because... Uh, <laughs> because, you know, like, yeah, I mean, legs are awesome and all that, but, I mean... Muscular arms, I mean, it, those are probably, like, really great to have. I mean, you can, like, You're you going to be flex. like those guys at the gym with the big buff arms and then the little tiny legs. Oh, leg. stop. <laughs> you, you never, you ne it never said that I can't work out to get my legs. But I'll have, like, a like a little help from fate. It'll be unproportional. Fate. It'll be totally proportional. I'll, I'll be a leg day every day. So did you so, say arms? I said arms, yeah. Oh, wow. What, what 69 percent agree with you arm day guys all right so babe question number six would you rather stand on red hot burning coals for 30 seconds without moving or shut your hand in a waffle iron for two minutes <laughs> oh, damn, it's what stand on hot coal what? why because it's less time <laughs> True, but damn. You're I don't need feet. What are feet for? I <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. I don't want my hand looking like a waffle. <laughs> and that's two minutes. Do you know how long two minutes is? Well, you know. It's two minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Well, well, then. He got majority vote. 83% agree with you. So. They know what's up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least the bright side is you'll you'll be able to like be say oh I still have red hot coal and maybe try walking around with it like oh yeah yeah now yeah now <laughs> <laughs> would you rather speak everything in surround sound or <laughs> have your own entrance entrance theme when you walk in a room oh uh, that is really good I mean. It would be cool to have like a voice that has like surround sound, you know, like oh, oh like yeah. everything. But then you have your own entrance theme, you know, walk into a room like if, like if like if I had to go to like the bathroom like at four in the morning, I'd come back in and be like done, done, done. Then I learned my theme song would be. Oh, but you can't pick your theme, so it could be something like. But it, that's not the. It doesn't say that. It says have your own entrance theme. Yeah. I so, I honestly have my own entrance theme because. Whenever I walk into a room, like at the at UTEP, like I just walk into like your undergrad building, I walk in, everyone's all like looking at the door because I walked in, I'm all like, yeah, like have wide eyes or like, I don't know, like, uh, I hate everything about you. I mean, bye three days, Grace. <laughs> well, guys, that was our Would You Rather challenge video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you will be seeing a lot more from the both of us. Isn't that right, babe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's at top of the day four, so don't worry. She really means well, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Exactly. Well, for me and Brianna, to all you subscribers and viewers out there on YouTube, hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Bye.